Hi, Matt. No, no, you don't have to say that. Uh, it's okay. It's okay, you don't have to. Good day, Matt. Okay. <laughs> okay. Jeez. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi, Matt. How is your day? When Matt's more popular than the actual creator. That's fair. Matt, the best part of the stream. Yep. Oh my goodness. Are you Matt's sidekick? At this point, I think so. I think so. Yeah, I think I am Matt's sidekick at this point. For sure. Why not? Why not? <laughs> What's going on, everyone? It's me, Alex the Rambler. Today, we're back on Hearts of Iron 4, and I'm returning to a mod that I haven't played in about three years. That's the Star Wars Executor mod. Uh, it's where Darth Vader crash lands into um, Q8, of all places. And then, I guess we'll try and conquer 1930s world as Darth Vader. So... If you want to, please do comment, like, and subscribe. Very much appreciated. If not, wait till the end of the video. If you, it's, it's fine. Uh, right, but here we go. Hearts of Iron Four. Bish, bash, bosh. I'm very impressed the developers have kept updating this over the years. Yeah, it's been three years of updates for a mod that you know could have just been one of those uh, ones that you develop for a, a day and then just abandon. But no, they've they've been going for three years. Uh, even updated for No Step Back. So, the executor, Darth Vader's personal ship, has crash-landed on a foreign planet due to an unknown fluke. However, they are not alone. The local inhabitants are about to begin the most destructive conflict in the history of their planet, and the fate of the Imperial holding on Earth is unclear. So we are stranded, cut off from the Empire and resupply. Uh-oh. Stuck on a desert, and we hate sand. Imperial military, though. Giggity-giggity-goo. We've also got the ruined executor. Oh. Uh, and then we can also do all of these things. We are Darth Vader. Our ideology is Coruscant imperialism. We're also a stratocratic regime. And uh, the ruling party is Empire Loyalists. So we'll just... There we are. In Q8. Historical AI for the... Yes. Yes. Every time I've played non-historical, it's never gone very well for me recently, has it? So let's do historical AI. This may be like basically a repeat of a video I did three years ago, but hey-ho. At this point, Hearts of Iron on this channel has been going longer than most um, television programs. <laughs> I've probably probably got more episodes of Hearts of Iron 4 than most, yeah, than most even long-running TV programs. Huh. After taking the nearly completed Super Star Destroyer Executor for a test flight accompanied by many high-ranking officials, uh, a catastrophe struck! What was supposed to be a many hour jump through hyperspace to allow the guests aboard to take a grand tour, the ship suddenly lurched out of hyperspace into the gravity well of a planet. Uh oh. Wilhof Tarkin becomes a field marshal when we get Imperial power. I don't think we should have Tarkin as the leader. Ooh, the 501st Legion will join Darth Vader on the field though. But no, we will do the Sith Lord. I, I mean, it's got to be the Sith Lord, hasn't it? We've got to be Annie. Oh, we need to get to phase two. Okay, so we'll deploy the stormtroopers. We've become stranded. And it takes a week to deploy the stormtroopers. Bloody hell. Whoa. Okay, I forgot. Or maybe this has all been changed since I last played it. But yes, we should probably get Imperial equipment. The engineering is the same. I'm liking this. Mobile artillery. We'll probably get mortar launchers. Support equipment. Oh, yeah. Are there actual tank models? <laughs> oh, okay. I was going to get super excited then. I was like, oh my god, have they developed everything? But no, it's just, um, it's just one of them. That's cool, though. I wasn't even expecting them to do that. Oh, there's a Stormtrooper model. Huh? Right away, sir. <laughs> okay, I love this. I love this already. So we've got Tarkin. Oh, right away, oh, sir. yes. Veers. I do like Veers. He is a general that I pick sometimes in um, Star Wars Rebellion, the board game. Stor Snow Trooper. Mar I don't think we want to deploy the Snow Trooper. The Snow Troopers. Survey surroundings. Okay, that's all we can do. Our troopers may have recognized and recovered from the crash. Oh, have been reorganized. Why is it that I don't seem to be able to re read very well, despite with my glasses? Okay, so... Hmm, the desert troopers have returned. I think I'm going to maintain secrecy. Yeah, I would rather have the extra resources. 
The alternative would be to execute the remaining survivors. I feel like Darth Vader would just... Yeah, he would just kill everyone. So we could have done Sif Might or there is Tarkin's Doctrine. Is there anything else we can do at the moment? There isn't. You can't do anything. Okay, so we have to go down these routes. Sith Might gives us extra manpower. Justify war goal. Special forces. Let's do the fortress. And actually get some military factories. Oh, for pity's sake, he's a winter specialist. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. But he's And the desert makes him sick. Oh, there's a star chart misalignment. We've somehow overshot our hyperspace route and went into the unknown regions. Where are we? It's a gunship, Cass. Look at the icons. It shows the missions. Oh, it can do... Okay, so that it can even do close air support too. Uh, that can only do interception. Ah, thank you. Thank you. You'd think by now I would I would have seen this before, but uh, no. That's clo that can do close air support. That can only do strategic bombing with the Y-Wing. This can do close air support too, but it takes 1,200 days. I think we'll try and research that. Uh, Imperial equipment and a blaster rifle. Blast them! Do I even try and conquer Iraq or Saudi Arabia at the moment? Uh... Am I really going to be able to conquer a whole nation with just a few storm <laughs> with just a few stormtroop? Let let's see. Okay. Well, let's let Tarkin do his thing. Because at the moment, man's not hot. But yeah, the models are really nice. If you look at this. Wait. Hold on. They have aerial super. Oh my gosh. We're trying to like expand out when they have aerial superiority. Uh oh. Where's that whistling coming from? What the heck? Who was just go? Who was singing? <laughs> Where did that come from? That's hilarious. That was one of the stormtroopers. Amazing. The blasters have a higher soft attack. Uh, I don't, I don't know. My soft attack is, oh gosh. I mean, it's not great. It's like we're just trying to conquer Tatooine at the moment. During our examination of the wreckage, several inconsistencies were found by Imperial engineers. Our shield generators, our ship shield generators were incomplete. And the revelistic shield generators found the whole hyperspace cable ships are found to be entirely inadequate. Uh-oh. This can't be good. But at least we're conquering people. That's what Darth Vader would have wanted, right? Unlimited conquest. There we go. And now we're going to wait for a little while. Uh, is that the only thing I can do? Oh, we can we can improve operational, operational efficiency. Nothing but wasteland and mountains. <laughs> Brutal. Ah. Uh. With the shielding of the ship being inadequate, our best calculations are somewhere between 13 and 15 million light years to the nearest galaxy. It seems of, as if years have passed and they look like our projections estimate they would take thousands of years for now. This is obviously unfathomable. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> this means we'll never see our homes again and even if we did return home, it's over a thousand years since we left. Uh oh. I'm going to do the general announcement to the troops. They deserve to know. It will obviously depress many. We must face this together. Indeed. Iraq is no more. The nation of Iraq has ceased to exist. The aggressor claims to be part of an extraterrestrial government entity. <laughs> they look like humans. <laughs> the Great Depression. Yep. The situation is dire. Uh-oh. Oh. Men sit in base camps, not performing their duties, laying in barracks, remembering the times long gone. Officers give no orders, drinking themselves to death. Even our general staff walk in a haze. Oh dear. And they expect me to invade Saudi Arabia. Oof. The citizens of this territory have the spirit of the rebellion in them. We must make sure to quash this as soon as possible. The aftermath. The imperial hierarchy is crumbling with orders not being followed and lower officers and admirals and generals deciding to follow through on their own ideas. Uh-oh. Oh, no, socialism. Yeah. <laughs> Darth Vader's biggest weakness. You'd think, like, hearing all of these laser shots and stuff, that the locals would be absolutely bricking it. But no, they're just doing absolutely fine, aren't they? Vader's war. Here we go. Darth Vader intends to show that our men, that despite being the only Imperials remaining, we are still Imperials. We carry the torch of the Empire and must begin again, forming an Empire capable of grandeur of the Empire of old and conquering not only this world but spreading amongst the stars once again. Ooh, look at the expert tactics that Darth Vader's using against the local inhabitants. Look at all I have, what I have achieved for the Empire since landing on this pitiful planet. We're just keeping them pinned down until we can actually progress forward a little bit. And then I think it'll be okay. There we go. Soviet defectors? They're pledging their allegiance to the Empire in return for shelter. Uh, known as Mikhail Tukhachevsky. And is a particularly skilled individual. Um, <laughs> yeah. 
Go on then. Three off-map military factories. Oh, the empire expands! Here we go, the Middle East now has an emerging power on its hands. The new expansionist government seeking to establish order. Unknown government asks for land. Gimme! <laughs> Please! <laughs> Long live the empire. Yes, indeed. Let's intimidate Oman. Oh man. What's the Romanian accord? Currently the Romanian government sees this as nothing more than an aggressive nation pretending to be from the stars. This is problematic, as their guarantee of the independence of Turkey prevents us from further expansion. Oh, okay. 100 days to conquer Yemen. Hmm. Yeah, why not? Darth Vader is questioning <laughs> Yemen's sovereignty, as he should. Yemen, more like yeah dead. Oh god, that was really bad. I'm not very good at puns. I don't know if, you've, if any of you have realised that in the past. Puns are not my forte. I was hoping this would be easier to take them down. I wasn't expecting Saud uh, Yemen to put up such a resistance, you know? What is happening here? Yemen! How is... Uh, uh, Yemen! I'm not happy about this, Yemen. I th surely Yemen's got to run out of uh, people to put in their army eventually. Yeah, it's not great. I'll be honest. Uh, I won't lie to you. It's a bit... <laughs> We're going to need to send in the Empire's conscripts. I'm already resorting to the conscripts because the 501st Legion is just a pitiful little band of... <laughs> They're letting me down. We'll overwhelm them with numbers. Full attack. Unlimited power. Just send in Darth Vader. What's the casualties? I don't really want to look at them. Oh, I mean, they're taking more. Oh, come on. Yes! <laughs> Finally, Yemen has... <laughs> we've done it. Our toughest challenge yet. We've conquered Yemen. And I guess I'll go up against potentially Turkey now or Iran. I could invite Romania into the Coruscant imperialism. We know the Kingdom of Romania. They'll become a dominion. A bit odd that they're doing that to Romania, I think. Um, oh, I can intimidate Yemen now, guys. I'm definitely not strong enough to take out Turkey at the moment. Maybe Iran might be a more realistic... Yeah, Iran is a much more realistic option, I think. I need trains. What are these trains they are talking about? Can I even research trains for supply? <laughs> train? No. Oh dear. What do we do without trains? I have no way to get trains. Is there not a switch to vanilla tech? I mean, there is. Oh, oh, you can just switch it. You can just switch around. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. That, that makes sense. No! It wipes the tech that I was researching for fuck's sake! Jesus wept. Okay. Well, that... <sighs> that's a bit irritating. What should we call our our faction, do you think? There we go. The new empire. I am getting ready for this mighty uh, conflict against Iran. Who knoweth if we shall be able to do this, but we, 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 we'll give it, give it the good old... I was about to say ram to try then, but... Ah! They're already attacking... Oh, I have rockets! How lovely! Unleash the rockets. How much range do I... Oh! Bloody Nora, how much range do you want here? Jeez Louise. Oh, I love the laser sounds. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. We've taken Tehran. Let's actually try and cut off all of these. Oh, that's a tasty encirclement. Post that to the Star Wars Reddit. <laughs> Just imagine a young Han Solo stuck here fighting in the Middle East. That's like nine Iranian divisions just getting absolutely destroyed. That's got to be good for their man. Their manpower stayed the same. Alex didn't like that. We're doing all right. At least I think I am. <laughs> okay, so we've got the ATTEs, but I actually want the early ATATs. Mm, look at that. Look how hard. They look how much breakthrough they have. Holy. 198 armor with 124 breakthrough. That's good, right? Oh, one a year, baby. Okay, let's let's really increase the production of these at the cost of everything else. There we go. <gasps> War is a success. Our plan of conquest has been a success, revitalizing faith in the Empire amongst the men of the Executor. They have faith once again that all is not lost and that while we're never going to see home, we can create a home. The natives, however, are becoming nervous about our renewed ambition. We now have the road to victory and 69 stability, which we all know is the peak stability, right? <laughs> Repair the shield. A half-functional ship. There we go. Great. Everything's coming up. Five. Uh, we get nukes. <laughs> 
Um. Me likey. Is anyone actually going to guarantee Afghanistan? Because if not, I'm just going to take it. I can't wait until we actually get our heavy vehicle battalions. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, no, the power of the dark side of the force. So at the moment, we we haven't had the event um, that sometimes triggers. I think it will be okay. Oh, is that an early at at? Oh, I think it is. Ooh. I can't, I can't wait till those uh, get plonked down. I could test them out in Afghanistan to begin with. I will send the Stormtrooper garrison. And I guess I do need to protect myself against the Soviets. Uh, let's get the walkers out. Get them out. What do they look like? Just a regular... T oh. Oh, it's a little TIE fighter. <laughs> Whee. Uh, but yeah, I don't think Afghanistan has uh, really stood a chance here. But I probably am going to be in a war with, against the Soviets. Um... Soon, free France has capitulated. And the fall of Cairo. Italy's actually doing stuff. Hey ho, let's go. Am I actually going to get Y-Wings to start dropping nukes out of the sky? I think I am. <laughs> Jeez. Good. Oh my god. I can't imagine the conditions that, we're, that I'm sending these stormtroopers to fight in. But uh, we're not taking many casualties. Which is nice. There we go, that should be enough. Don't worry, the Imperial Troopers are holding firm, though. They're holding firm. These guys, though... Oh, I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna lose a lot of territory here. Uh, should I just take all of the Romanian divisions? I am taking control, yes. They can't be uh, depended on to save themselves, so... There we go. So some troops are going to get encircled and die, but maybe the rest of them will survive. We're just trying to get them in a holding pattern, really. Wait, wait. Romania sees, but... I am confusion, America explain. General Veers isn't really in much of a position to be doing a whole lot here. These guys don't have any equipment. Do I fall back to a position of strength? I think I may abandon Afghanistan. To the mountains for now. Our troops are withdrawing to stronger defensive positions down here. And I'm just trying to build some actual freaking walkers to populate our divisions here. War industry. There we go. Another five factories for the for the uh, for the early 8080s. Um, <laughs> maybe I've been a bit ambitious with having multiple Walker divisions, and I should just focus on the one. So we just have one heavy Walker div heavy Walker division for now. Then I'm gonna. I, I just need more military factories. How can I build everything I want to and need to? Give me factories or give me death. Oh my goodness. What like what are the stats we've got? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> what the fu- <laughs> At the moment, I think we're inflicting a good amount of casualties on them. Um, I think mainly because of our 1200 defense, which is just absolutely insane. Would I be able to push them back, do you think? Yes. We'll push them back with lasers. Hoorah! And TIE fighters flying overhead. That's very cool. Where are they invading? Are you- What the f- <laughs> Hibbity, 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 who? Let's deploy them in Jerusalem. Ah! <laughs> <Grenade>! <laughs> what is the breakthrough on these divisions? Our breakthrough is nearly 400, and our defense is like, it's a lot. I don't think they can destroy these. Uh, yeah, if you have an equipped early at at, -at divisions, they, uh, they can just destroy everything. Look at that. General Veers in his early attacks. Oh my days. Okay, they just melt. Well, that was nice. Here we're still exchanging, not really doing a lot. Although we're shooting down a fair amount of planes. I just need more of them. Oh, I've got your number, haven't I? Eh? I already figured out what you were doing, you little scamp. Okay, so we're in a position where we can hold them. I just can't push them. We don't have enough Imperial might to push. Like, even this, I just can't believe how much uh, defense our divisions have here. 1,500, 1,600 defense. And this is the uh, this is the template I'm using. Wow, they have 200 breakthrough too. They have 400 breakthrough. Holy. I'm going to send the complete ATST divisions up there. Atats, sorry. Not ATST. Atats. And see if they can't do... Oh, I've got your number, mate. 
<laughs> okay, well let's let's test this out. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, they kill everything. Okay, I guess now the stormtroopers are kind of fully. Well, they're not even stormtroopers. This is regular imperial infantry supported by atats. Okay, so these are absolutely useless in like the mountains. I think I think on uh, if we were going into Germany or something, they they would work quite well, but we're not. Oh, we're being lent Skodas. Sorry, the Imperial Army is so weak, we're being sent Skoda divisions. Or, or Skoda vehicles to help. Oh, for pity sake. Shut off. Oh, oh, if I just take the port, then they're, then they're dead, right? They can't... Yeah. Huh? This isn't going as well as... Have I got worse at this game? Have I actually got worse? Oh, crap. Just tons of TIE fighters flying overhead, but it's not really enough. Germany, you got any plans to do something? Because I could use some help. How on earth are my starfighters getting shot down by Fighter 1? A travesty. That's an absolute travesty. Don't freaking believe this. I can't believe I've done this. I've been such a sausage. I actually need Germany to do something here. I can't believe what a wally I've been. What are you? An idiot sandwich. Oh! Huh? Oh! Relief! Relief! Are they, are they withdrawing? Go on, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. And now our Y-wings are gonna nuke them. One Y-wing is all we need. What range does this bad boy... <laughs> Woo! I know I technically own this, but uh, I don't want them to have any supply, so... Demonetized. How many nukes do I have? I don't know how many I have. Lots, maybe. Hmm. I don't know if that was enough. Hmm. There we go. Well, that was fun regardless. And it looks like that's becoming secure uh, again down there. This is just a mess. I don't even know what we're thinking of doing here. Apart from maybe push. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Oh, oh, wow. The TIE series. We just get 120 in product. Yes. Restores 120 TIE Fighters. Let's seize these oil fields. Um, and, uh, sorry, what's that? Is that... What was that? Oh, that was Tbilisi. That was Batumi. That was... That was Grozny. All will fall to the Empire! Yes. Seize the means of production! You, Stalin, socialism shall not be achieved. I'm going to just save everyone a little job here. Ow. Oh my days. Australia just comes on in and takes... <laughs> of course they do. So, uh, looks like Stalin wasted most of his best troops on me when he should have been waiting for Germany. Oh, I took it! Yay! The Imperials took Stalingrad. It's mine. My own. My precious. <laughs> Rename it Vadergrad. I, I would if I was able to. Oh. Oh! Oh, go on then. Go on, son. Go on, my son. Go on. Blast them. Yep. They just all get absolutely annihilated by laser rifles. Socialism will never be achieved. How many divisions of the Soviets have left? They still have a fairly chonky army. I'm just waiting till I get my... Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, baby. Here we go. Nuke time. It's still going to take ages, isn't it, to create another nuke? Please, sir. I just want more nuclear weapons. But yeah, this, uh, the, the crash site is turns into, like, a pretty chonky area, especially for resources. Yeah. <laughs> just look at this home region for resources. It's, it's pretty nice. There we go. Let's start taking some territory for ourselves, even though this is kind of wastelandy. I want more territory. What would happen if I decided to puppet? Where am I puppeting? There we go. Bam. That makes the peace deal a bit easier to deal with. The new empire. That's pretty cool. That's pretty chonky. I'm happy with that. And that's where I'm going to say farewell for this. Because I think, uh, I think we've done most of most of this. Apart from if you're going to do like war doctrines, uh, land doctrines and various production. But in terms of conquest, I think it's pretty much done. We even got this. We got we got the the executor back up in the sky. I can still intimidate Yemen, even though I've conquered them many many moons ago. But there we have Darth Vader with the new empire, and we conquered uh, 
a pretty good amount, I think. Pretty good amount. Especially when you kind of start off with just Q8. <laughs> but if you did enjoy, please do comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Ta-da! Many thanks to Turquoise Zong, Ian Clark, Kim Eric, Richard Cruz, Amazon Fulfillment Strategist, Daniel Orr, Maximilian Foreman, Wyatt Green, Onion Duck, Zachariah Mosby, Chancellor64, Jack Troku, Jiggly Crotch, Logan Whaley, and Bash for being champions of the Rambler cult here on YouTube. And many thanks to all the other patrons.